Hey you guys, welcome to today's video. It is foundation featured and I am bringing you the new Bare Minerals Bare Pro foundation and I'm laughing because I have it in a sample. Yeah, I didn't buy the the bottle because this was a this was like a promo code on Sephora a couple weeks ago and um I got two because I had put in two orders back with the Too Faced Peaches and Cream. And so each time I put in that promo code so I could get a different color. <laughs> so I have Cashmere 06 and Dawn 02. And there doesn't seem to be a big difference between the Cashmere and Dawn. So it was kind of a wild guess. Um, I've wanted to try this foundation. Some of you have reached out to me hoping I was going to review it. And I just figured this is such a good generous sample that I might as well make use of it. And that way it saves me from buying a bottle and then whether I keep it or return it, it's just one less transaction. The, po the point of this foundation is that it's 24 hour wear. It's their longest, or I should say their highest performing foundation ever. So it's 30 shades to choose from. It has SPF 20 and it is, I guess, I mean, it's long wearing. So let's see how much it covers. I heard some good things about this, so I'm kind of excited, but I also am a little hesitant because I feel like it could be like some of the others that were very thin that are supposed to be, you know, thin but long wearing, but kind of don't do anything for my skin. <laughs> so let's see, this shade is 02, this is Dawn. I'm gonna stick a Q-tip in here. See, I just was afraid that the Dawn shade would be too light. <laughs> Dawn's early light. Ooh, cashmere. So there must be, let's see here gonna kind of blend in my neck too. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go with the cashmere. I'm not gonna wear primer this time. I just figure I'm gonna check this out for what it's got on its own. So I believe the bottle comes with a pump. It's in a glass bottle. It's obviously very nice. Um, not this kind of wacky do. I'm pouring it out of this container. That's a good mixture between neutral and a little bit yellow. I'm doing my usual beauty blender on one side, makeup brush on the other. Ooh, I think I like this. <laughs> My nose is running all of a sudden. I'm sorry. I'm trying not to sniff or wipe my nose or anything like that, but it just seems like with the cooler temperatures, boom, there goes my nose running. Oh, I just kind of covered my entire forehead with the sponge. I suppose that's a little bit cheating. I suppose it's my channel. I can do what I want. Just kidding. Just kidding. Sorry, not sorry. So this feels, I think it's doing a good job covering right out the gate. I am definitely, <laughs> the problem when you stick your beauty blender too close to the hairline with such a glob of foundation is you have a lot to blend in your hairs. I need to shave. I'm getting so peach fuzzy. So this is a nice shade and really nice coverage. I'm digging it. Sometimes the thinner foundations do really well with the brushes. I wonder how this would do with the Clarisonic. Okay, so definitely a thinner application with the brush. I like Beauty Blender side better because I am just a coverage whore. I 
I like it. I feel like when you bounce it in, it doesn't pull up the product more. You know what I mean? Sometimes when you're trying to build product and the sponge just kind of keeps lifting it away. This is nice. So I won't say it's matte, but it doesn't feel as dewy and liquidy on the skin as some others in this sort of style. So I like it. I don't think I'm going to need a whole lot of powder. Of course, it might have been a little bit different with a primer, depending on the way my skin is. You know, is it dry? Is it oily? I definitely think I am already getting my dry skin. We've only gotten down into the 50s and 60s, and already my skin is just like, oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> I'm dry. <laughs> my hands are dry, like everything just dried up. <laughs> no more sweaty, no more oily. Um, so yeah, so I feel like it's really comfortable. If you are a dry, dry skin living in a dry climate, you will want a moisturizing primer for sure, because I can just feel it. If you're oily, living maybe in a humid climate, you're probably going to do okay with powder and like a mattifying primer. I feel like it's really in between. Let's do some concealer and other makeup. Today, you guys, I'm going to show you something. This is going to be kind of a bonus part of the video. Uh, Deck of Scarlet sent me their July-August palette. I apologize. I've had this for a while, and I just, there's been so many new palettes and launches, and I'm just trying to kind of stay on top of things. You know what I mean? And so this poor guy got a little bit left behind, but it's this palette subscription service. So you can get a palette a month, and this one came with a liquid liner that is bombastic because it's that brush, you know, it's like the paintbrush. Um, so this is the July, August. What it is is it's got the shadows and the face shades. So like your blush, your bronze, your your highlighter, however you want to use them, your eyeshadows right here. And then these are the lip products. And I'm not a huge fan of lip palettes that I have to, you know, put a brush in or my finger in. But can I just say thank you for keeping them separate? Because I remember buying Dior, Chanel, and all those holiday palettes. And they always had the lip, the cream products with the powder products. And the powder would contaminate the cream and... So anyway, love it. This is their number three edition. So it is a collaboration with a YouTuber, I believe. And so that's who's featured on this. And um, so I'm going to pull from this. So I just wanted to mention that here. The blush and highlighter are really, really nice. They're a little bit light. So I use them more kind of just for blushing, not contouring or anything like that. These shades are really kind of funky for eyeshadows, but this um, Taj is a really pretty brown. So I'm definitely going to be playing with it. And I wanted to let you know about that because who doesn't want a palette sent to them every month or every other month or whatever a subscription service? Oh, God, It's like, how did you know? I know sometimes um, between Stitch Fix and Glossy Box and just different uh, subscription boxes, it feels like you're spending a lot of money, so I get it, um, but you never know, especially if you have a ton of makeup, maybe a palette a month is kind of excessive for you, but I just thought, hey, if you haven't heard of this, you might as well, I need to let you know about it. I'm going to finish my face and I'll be right back. I'm back. I am all put together. <laughs> I 
dressed, hair, you know the drill. So my face is finished. I am I'm wearing my Anastasia Kiss lipstick because it's just such a great like everyday neutral and so I just feel kind of neutral today. I'm wearing a gray sweater. My face is just sort of nothing fancy or special. Um, but the foundation, everything went on really nicely. Um, I feel like it looks really good. So we are going to see, I'm not going to test this for 24 hours, um, but we will definitely give it a solid eight hours. How about that? So I will see you guys later under terrible lighting conditions, like always. And yeah, so. Well, I am back and I actually kept my ring light up. So you get the beauty of a better looking thing. Although you probably like the natural light, don't you? Mm-hmm. Um, here's the thing. It's getting darker sooner. So it's hard to do the check-ins later. But I will give you a close-up, which I realized I didn't do before. I was rushing off to meet my mom for coffee and I was running late. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, bye. Um, so let me give you a close-up. Okay. So I don't know if you can see but there is actually it wore so well i mean this is long wearing absolutely uh and it's pretty medium full coverage like i felt like this is good coverage this this is definitely i don't know what it's described as but this is good coverage a couple things to know i feel a little bit dry I really wanted to douse my face with setting spray, you know, like a moisturizing spray, but I didn't just to kind of keep it true. Um, it's my typical wear down around my nose. There's a little bit of creasing. I don't know if, I can't remember if I put concealer there. I don't think I did. Um, but I, I did put the Kat Von D shade and light powder there. So I'm like, hmm, is that what that is? So, but there was a little bit of creasing right here. My forehead wore really well. Even, I mean, my chin is broken down a little bit. So we got the texture like we always do. Yeah, so overall, I am really pleased with how this wore. I feel fresh. I don't feel like, oh gosh, look, I just wilted away or anything like that. And shout out to this Anastasia lipstick. I have not touched up. This is all day. This is from when you saw me. This is lunch. This is coffee. This is tea. This is snacks. Mm-hmm. So anyway, okay. So you guys, I think the Bare Minerals Bare Pro 24-hour foundation is pretty good. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I definitely think that a moisturizing primer underneath it would do better. I felt it looked a little bit, I don't want to say cakey, but just a little bit obvious on my skin under, I was at a store and you know when you use the restroom and the lights in the restroom, just you look, you just look at your face and you're like, oh my God, my face looks like that. And your makeup just kind of looks very exaggerated. That always happens to me in the movie theater. Movie theater bathrooms, my face just looks so terrible. But anyway, if you know what I mean, I looked at myself in that mirror and I went, huh, this makeup looks a little thick. But then in natural light, on film, taking pictures on my phone, I thought it looked really nice. I did, so I'm a fan. And the eyeshadow wore really nicely too. I didn't even use primer, and look, that's the deck of Scarlet. So there you go, pretty good day, all right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this foundation featured. I hope you subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up on this video and I will see you next time. Bye.